welcome back to my ADHD Diaries. I'm Holly the Jazz Singer. We're gonna talk about taming the tongue. <laughs> taming the tongue. The human race is really good at picking ourselves apart, being hard on ourselves. Women are even better. Women with ADHD make it a competitive sport <laughs> against ourselves. And last but not least, let's add Christian guilt on there. Yep, the guilt that's brought on by the church and what they think it should look like to be a Christian. The guilt that's brought on by reading the scriptures and realizing how inadequate we are, which isn't a bad thing unless you stop there. So don't stop there. I'm in this with y'all, okay? So I am trying to replace the negative counterproductive thoughts with the truth of God. When you like this video or leave a comment, it helps me get grounded in the reality of, am I making a difference over there with y'all? Because that's my purpose. I'm, I'm learning about myself, I'm learning about ADHD, but I don't wanna be alone in that. I think that God has such a bigger message for you that can break through barriers. We're gonna focus on emotional outbursts. In Exodus 4, Moses is talking to God. Now go and do as I have told you. I will help you speak well, and I will tell you what to say. But Moses clings to his insecurities. I mean, we kind of all do, right? Sometimes we bring it to the Lord, but we just don't really trust him to handle it. So here's what God does. But Moses again pleaded, Lord, please send someone else. Then the Lord became angry with Moses. All right, he said. What about your brother Aaron, the Levite? He is a good speaker, and look, he is on his way to meet you now. And when he sees you, he will be very glad. You will talk to him, giving him the words to say. I will help both of you to speak clearly. I will teach thee what thou wilt say. I am that I am. Thou shalt say, I am sent me unto you. And be sure to take your shepherd's staff along so you can perform the miraculous signs I have shown you. He didn't take away that promise from Moses. He just gave him a security blanket to go with it. He said, all right, Aaron can go with you, but I'm going to cause both of you to speak clearly. And that, I think, would be bolstering to Moses' faith when he felt and saw God speaking clearly through him, his faith would be bolstered, even though he didn't have faith at first. God meets us where we're at with our insecurities. He meets us and he provides a way. And then he says, bring your shepherd's staff along so you can perform the miraculous signs I have shown you. Let my people go. Who is this God that I should let your people go? Aaron, cast down my staff before Pharaoh, that he may see the power of God. In this you shall know that the Lord is God. So he's not going to let Moses give away all of the work. He doesn't want just Moses' mouth. He wants Moses' hands and his feet, his heart, his soul, his mind, his body. God is at work in our whole body. So even if you're having emotional outbursts, you can still be effective for the kingdom of God. And this is reiterated in 1 John 3, 18. Through 24. It is by our actions that we know we are living in the truth, even if our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. He is all-knowing, all-loving, all-powerful. God created us. We mucked it up with sin, but God purchased and redeemed us so he could have his creation back the way he designed it without pain and sorrow 
And all we have to do is submit to the creator and realize he's got it handled. We don't have to worry if we submit to God and rely on God. I couldn't fit this all into one video if I tried and I tried. <laughs> so if you click the screen now, it will take you to the next step in surrendering to God, opening to the Holy Spirit and taming that ADHD tongue of ours. So I'll see you there.